why hello and uh, good morning everybody good to see you uh everyone thank you so much for your patience you know uh the youtubes and internets are just waking up they're like oh it's it's already it's friday it's been a long week hopefully it's been a good week for you thank you for joining me today susan wilson cody bear uh, andreas as well and uh everybody that's out there on uh, other platforms as well reading the Behance chat typically, even though I have uh, both of them up, but uh, feel free to say hi. And uh, I'm glad you're here. And thank you so much for that nice message, Michelle, that everything is good. So hello, everyone. Uh, we're going to dive into <clears throat> some hardcore Photoshop compositing. So uh, this is going to be good. Um, oh, yeah. Bobby Orlando's in, uh, he's in Arizona, so having some, some uh, time change issues. I hear you, man, especially Arizona. I hear that it just passed that, uh, um, well, not the Senate yet, but in the U.S. Uh, about it, basically. Um, uh, getting rid of uh, daylights, or actually staying with day daylight savings time. So, anyways. I'm just glad we, sometimes there's some subjects that everybody agrees on. I know I'm into it. So uh, again, I'm so, so glad you guys are here. This is sort of an image I'm working on. This is all about sort of uh, cutting out images and uh, doing a fun composite, uh, as you can see. Uh, we're gonna do just a, a fun comp composite with, uh, with this image, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. Varun, what's up? So uh, this was pretty easy to do. I already have some things done, but I'm going to be doing this process like over and over again. But uh, like, let me just delete this layer mask. Uh, all I really did here is go into properties and I said, hey, you know, remove background. Okay, so it was not that hard, right? And can we just point out how awesome of a job it did? Like, look, look, I like I feel like I don't have to do really anything. I don't have to go into uh, use the refine refine edge brush tool or whatever. Just does an amazing job, right? Super cool. Uh, but we're going to be cutting out uh, lots of animals, and I have already a lot of them cut out as well. So this is going to be cool. Uh, so here we have this lady. I've been kind of on this mother nature kick. Who knows why? Uh, but again, I just like the thought of uh, Mother Nature and all these animals getting along, right? So that's very much on brand for me. So um, uh, yeah, so this is going to be good. I do have uh, a number of assets right in here in my libraries panel. You can see uh, already things that are cut out from various places that uh, honestly, I spent my sabbatical pretty much uh, cutting out a lot of this stuff and organizing it. You know, it's like... If you got to if you're going to spend a day chopping down a tree, you're going to spend half of it sort of sharpening your axe as uh, you know what George Washington said, something like that. Anyways, so you can see everything's actually kind of cut out. In fact, that's all these plants and flowers, because basically what I want to have is I want to have um, all these cool. Um, I want her to be Mother Nature. She's going to be made up of branches and mountains and all this stuff. And then there's going to be like lions and birds and all these animals like throughout this portrait is the idea so hopefully you guys are into this i think it's going to be really fun and uh if if it's anything like what's in my head i'm super excited about it so again these are all the assets i already have them cut out they're not even that cut out that well some of these are like oh this is a little wonky let's just delete some of this stuff um there we go. So we can see some of these, some of these branches are almost too big, but we'll get into that in a second. We can see everything is in a folder, um, right, right over here. Boop, boop. Let's move this over. And uh, I want to kind of cover her face with these branches. Um, you can see a number of them like right here. This is a big chunk. I want to actually make it, make all of this a lot smaller because again, she's mother nature and I have to make sure if I'm going to be compositing animals into a realistic scene, I need to make sure that like the proportions are correct. So that's my goal. Yes, it is, it is wild and surreal, but I still want to make it somewhat like believable, right, is the idea. Okay, so we'll take this, we'll rotate it through. And again, I have not done this. I know sometimes we do live streams where like we have everything figured out. I don't because I, I, think, uh, I think it says a lot 
or just it's really helpful when you see people kind of work through problems. So we here we have this, you know, mother nature. Here she is. Uh, I want to mask out and this these are all my uh, these are going to be the plants and basically the land. OK, and uh, I want to make sure I just show the plants and the land where she is. So I'm going to hold down the option key and I'm going to drag it up and I can go ahead and uh, add that layer mask and sure enough the plants and land let's disconnect that but now it's kind of like inside right so that's kind of where we're headed with it and uh thank you so much afroja i see ya awesome okay so that's kind of what we have i've found so many cool assets let's talk about where i got these okay because check this out you can go to let's actually go to I feel like I show this all the time because, you know, it needs to be shown all the time. I'm constantly amazed that I can literally go to free and I'm like, how are we even making money as a company? I have no idea, right? Trees on white. That's exactly what I want. Uh, you can say I've already like licensed this one, but look at all these crazy trees, like all, all free, all free. Guess what? We just want to have photos. So let's just toggle that. And it's just amazing what's available for free out there. Like these might be kind of fun to, to bend with. Just, I want to like bend a lot of, like this will be cool. So again, you can see it says license. So you do have to license it. That means basically um, you're, you're, you're agreeing that you're not going to resell any of these images or do something silly because I don't want you to do that. Ooh, this is the stuff I need. Ooh, sorry. I'm zooming in all over the place like this you know, kind of maybe for her shoulder or something. But again, we're gonna work through this together and we're gonna see what sort of mess we uh, we're gonna make, right? Ooh, this, I mean, come on now. Looks like I already licensed that. I don't know where it is. You know, let's just download a frig again. Trees are some of the hardest things to cut out. By the way, I've done this for all the animals. Um, let's go in there. Let's kind of take a look at the animals since this is all about uh, sort of wild animal composite. Uh, we will go into the animals. I really wish I could share all of this with you, but again, uh, I have agreed to, you know, I can't really share it. Like, let's get this lion right here. Super cool, right? So we will just drop this guy in here. Here's our majestic lion. And uh, we can go through this selection process. Uh, Oh, thank you. Abraham Lincoln. Thank you. Give me six hours to chop down a tree and I will spend the first four sharpening the axe. Oh, Rick H. Thank you so much for that. Oh, thank you. It's so good. And again, I don't want to misquote, but you get the idea. All right. So remove background. Boom. Remove background. This is a case where you know, it might not have gotten everything, you know, it didn't do quite as good of a job, but again, it was a complex background. We'll go over here. We'll go to our refine edge tool right over here, right? So all I did is double click on the layer mask. For those of you who missed it, I did um, uh, remove background, right? And notice how this changes. This is how you always know what's selected. If you're ever looking for something and it's not in your properties panel, just be mindful of like what's selected because this is all going to change based on what you have selected, right? Notice how it even changes for uh, a pixel-based layer versus a, um, um, a smart object, right? So you get the idea. So just be aware of kind of what you have selected. Double-clicking on this is the same thing as going to select and mask, right? That's how I have this set up. Double-click, ba-boom. He is the, here we uh, have the, the lion who looks out for us. He's like, I'm going to take care of you. Usually go from the outside in. We can go ahead and grab some of this. This gets a little funky. Remember, it's that crazy background uh, where there's lots going on. So it's very similar to um, uh, plus, minus, to its, to its hair. So that's all I'm doing. Doing this thing, you get the idea, everybody. Okay, so I'm still talking about sort of where to get assets because that's not the only place. I think it's amazing, by the way. A, a lot of times with these, I could cheat in. And by the way, I need to add right here. So let's go to my brush, paint right there. And uh, maybe I need actually more right here. There's his paw. Does anybody have a domestic lion at home, wondering? 
Any cat lovers? Do we have cat lovers out there? I like cats. I'm gonna shift this edge a touch. So I'm just cheating that edge in, and you can see it starts to cut in on that white, which is what I want. We'll click OK. All right, so there it is. Uh, from there, and I've done these for all of these, I could go ahead and convert this to a smart object. So boom, convert to smart object. Chances are I already have this cut out. Then what do I do? I go into my library panel, and uh, honestly, rather than even having that, I'll still keep it there, but then I'll drop it in like up here. Bingo. And now we have, oh, and actually, I would probably make sure that this says lion because now you could jump back in and you can say, you know what, I want an albatro albatross. I'm not going to have an albatross in there. Why did I even type that in? Crow. There you go. So, yeah, that's the purpose for labeling it. Otherwise, over here, who cares? Hey, don't label or name your layers. It's totally fine. Uh, but when you do, I would say, don't worry about uh, labeling your layers if you're working alone and want to do that thing. Uh, but label it if you make it a smart object in your library. Okay. Oh, PJ, do you have a cat loaf? Oh, you got a little fat cat. Oh, it's probably adorable. I'm into it. Smart object, we'd resize it. You know, it's going to like be sitting on her shoulder. Who knows? Remember, we're just going to play around with this. Not only going to sit on her shoulder, we're going to make sure we bend this lion correctly. So again, this is a case where I'll go in. I could do puppet warp, um, or you could go ahead and do uh, a, a uh, the words escaping me, uh, like another type of transform. To be, to be named. Apparently, I don't want to tell you what it is because I can't think of it right now. Distort. A warp. Right? I could also do a warp in here, too, if I wanted to. Uh, but again, just kind of making them sit back there. You know? Just hang out, buddy. Do your thing, right? You majestic lion, you. Um, and you get the idea. Uh, yeah, I don't know what time it is either. <laughs> Ooh, happy, uh, holy. Is that what that's called, Varun? You have a, is it Festival of Colors? Oh, man, that's so good. I wish, I, I wish I would have coordinated my stream with, with a theme like that would be super cool. So anyways, there's the, the line. I'm still talking about where to get assets as we start to compile all of these. You could go out to, yes, I get it. There's other sites. There's like Unsplash, right? Um, a number of other places, okay? Uh, but you have to go to like Pixabay. Isn't Pixabay another one, right? So I could try to find what I need out there by going to all these different sites. Or what you could do, and I love this, I love the fact that we have plugins in Photoshop. So if you're looking for Photoshop to do something specific, hey, go ahead and browse all the plugins that you uh, have the opportunity to work with. But I'm going to go down to, there's a couple of these, by the way, S all these stock search. I'm going to use free stock search to pro. Bingo. Right, right up here. This opens up, and now I was looking for... Is that how you spell albatross? There's our albatross. Perfect. Okay. And this is what the pro version lets you download the uh, the high res version. Uh, but there's our lovely like albatross and you get the idea. So I just think this is super cool. And you can see where it's pulling from. Again, Unsplash. A lot of Unsplash. Pixabay. Um... Those are the main two ones right here. Again, load next results on down the line. So, so that's the idea, at least behind this plugin, which I think is super cool. Oh yeah, okay. So, thank you so much for saying that, Rick H. As mentions, uh, you know that when I would do the file, the new show, I'd give you a ton of assets. The plan is to still bring back, bring back that show in some iteration. We're just trying to figure out. Uh, what what form that needs to take and what you like the most out of it. All right. <clears throat> Albatross. There you are, buddy. I got you, buddy. Right over here. A-L-B-A-T-R-O-S-S. -S. Boom. Drop it in with the birds. That is 
an area that's for the birds. All right, I'll stop. There we are, dropping our albatross right over here. Now, not only do we have it saved for later, um, but we're obviously like using it in this composite as well, right? We, we're gonna drop in all these assets and then the whole color correction that you have to do is like a whole nother step, which is gonna be a whole thing. So, uh, yeah. 45 minutes. <laughs> Sean, oh, I love it. I love it when you guys pick on me because it's like, you know, hey, we know each other. So I think that's cool. You can, you can pick on me all you want as long as, you, as long as you're nice about it. Okay. Uh, so right in here, we can see this, um, you know, but you can start to see the outline of, of this figure. And that's kind of what I'm, what I'm going for. And Varun, that's a great idea. I should actually sneak a skull in every single design I do. But how it's see, see how it's starting to like outline a person. So again, this is what I'm going for. All right. Uh, I have a ton more trees right over here. Oh, look at all these trees, right? That's the asset that I downloaded earlier, right? So I come in here. This is one of the hardest selections you have to do is trees. It's just crazy, you know? And um, going to remove background, I'll click on that. We'll just see what it does. You could see it's a mess, right? We wanna undo that. We wanna actually go up to our selection menu. Guess what, you guys have seen this. If you're any fan of Photoshop, it's been here forever, color range. Cause hey, we're just selecting the white. <sighs> yeah, all right. So that's, that's the, that, this is the way I would do it. I would click on the white, you know, adjust, you could adjust the fuzziness all you want, crank it up more, whatever, right? And then click okay. Right, we've made that selection. Now we'll click on the layer mask. I'm gonna hold down the option key, click, boom. Right, and we'd see all of that white. But at this point, yes, you're gonna have to go in, you're gonna have to trim this up some more, literally, since they're trees, let's trim them. But we'll come in and do all that stuff. That's, this is, this is probably the way I will do it because it's gonna give me more flexibility later on. Um, yeah, and again, it just it's a it's a whole process. All I really need for this is I might need I don't even know which trees I'm going to need. I'm going to need ones that have some space in them so we can kind of see through them. So, and I don't want it to be dead. Uh, but I want it like this one here. Yeah, that's that one I'll hit. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Just zip 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 zip. If you have a different way to uh why not render a tree? Thank you, Clarissa's got it. I actually might do that because um, I want the trees so I could either bend those trees to follow the curves of her shoulder and stuff, um, or I could actually use a path and do the tree, the tree business, which is a great idea. So I love it. And don't think that wasn't the plan, because it was. If you're watching my uh, daily photography challenge this week, you'd know that we did that earlier this week. And it was really fun. And I love it that you brought that up. All right, we're gonna shift edge. I don't know why I always like shift edge, but it does definitely help out a lot. There we are, click okay, right? And uh, we can kind of continue on our way. Find which ones of these that I want. Command J, jump a layer. Um, uh, yeah, just be a rebel and just apply layer mask. Yeah, I'm a rebel. Uh, and then I'll just kind of jump in here and say, hey, you know, let's take this tree. I'm not sure the resolution of this. So this is the thing that might be kind of interesting pasting it in <clears throat> above other things. You know, here's here's like the tree. Maybe this wor will work, maybe it won't work. So I'm playing with size uh, and that's, that's the part I'm kind of struggling with. Um, so let's go back out, uh, <clears throat> go into my downloads, the other assets like this land, this is cool. Like these sort of things could really could really help me out. And uh, again, let's open them up and see what happens. All right, if you're joining me over on uh, YouTube, I wanna say hello as well. But I'm mainly focusing on the Behance chat, behance.net forward slash live. Uh, hello, Nguyen Long. I see you there out there on, uh, on YouTube as well. So again, remove background, 
Sure enough, yeah, that works. Double click, you guys get the idea. But again, this is why I'd only want to do this stuff once and then just save it. Save the asset. There it is. And I think I've already done that for this piece, by the way. So we're getting into uh, flowers and plants and trees and blah, blah, blah. Scroll down. You know, yeah, I mean, here, here it basically it. I already it is. I already went through that process. And uh, let's continue. This one's good. Again, we're going to make a mess, and that's okay. Uh, what, what other news do we need to talk about? Anything else? Let me know what you want to see. I'm, uh, again, this is a, a conversation we're having. Um, I want to know what you guys want to learn, like, constantly. So, like, definitely hit me up on all the social medias, like, on what you want to see, what you want to learn. Um, you know, m maybe you want to be inspired. We can cover inspirational resources. Uh, we can talk about free resources, uh, things like that. So, um, you know, the world is our oyster. Let's do this. Let's do... Let's just call this hill. Yeah, I want to know. You want to see more collaboration, maybe do some crazy things where m maybe many people are working on like one idea and, and we do that one idea all week. Would that be boring? I don't know. There are not ideas. Let's drop that in there. There's our land. Have that done. Close that. Grab these. Drop them in as well. Do you have a wolf? That's a great question. That's wolf. Boom, baby. I have a... How do I spell coyote? Is that how I spell coyote? Am I losing my mind? I swear. I've forgotten more things than I know these days, I feel. But I love the idea of a wolf. A wolf's going to be a fun animal to add. Uh, just using some shortcut keys, so let's, we will add that. Let's drop in the land. Let's just we're seeing how this looks. We're comparing the size, cause you know, that's that's what I'm working on. The land, the hill. Uh, remember, off to the side. I know this is getting a little crazy, but here's my folder that has that layer mask. So we'll put it right in there, and uh, you can see that's kind of like self-contained. Oh, coyote. Oh, see, I knew I was spelling it wrong. Uh, you're like, good thing you know how to design, Paul, because I don't know if you'd make it in any other industry. Uh, looks like I don't have a coyote. Should be C-A-Y. <laughs> oh, thank you and forgive me. Okay, here's our tree. Again, just like playing with size, basically. Drop that down. Um... And uh, sorting through all of these layers. Like, if you guys know me, oftentimes, yeah, things get messy. I don't know what's what. What is over here, right? Hold down the command key, click, and it'll jump to that layer of whatever you have selected. Like, I know this branch, these flowers, command click, selects that layer, command T, shrink it down, right? This is just a fun little leaf that's out there. I want to make sure that we're breaking the border as well. Or I could even take an element like this and uh, let's bring back, where is she? Here's Mother Nature. Boop. You know, this would be really good to, to add for like the eyelashes. Okay. Let's take that. You get the idea. Flip vertical. Do something like that, right? Don't worry. All these details are going to come through. It's going to look fantastic. I hope. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Eng English is hard, especially when it's uh, your first language. Just kidding. It's like, Paul, isn't English your first language? Yeah, not by choice. Just kidding. All right. As you can see, just adding some like so. Uh, for some of these items, I would even consider making this um, 
a brush as well. Now, the issue with a brush is it's only one color, okay? Uh, and I like the multicolor aspect, what we have going on here. So that's all. Again, try to get as many different... leaves and such in here, like so. There we are, All right? You get the idea. And I know this is gonna be complex, so let's just go over here and we'll just, we're gonna add a whole layer group, select, do a shift uh, click to select them all and then command G and these are gonna be the details. Start adding the face details like so, right? In here, let's take all of these, command J, control J if you're on a, um, a PC and, uh, you know, do your thing, you know? I'm sure I have, I know I have some uh, leaf brushes and stuff, but anyway. Barbara, I want to say hello to you. Uh, also, Muhammad, uh, it's good to have you here as well. It's fine Friday. Uh, we're just doing some fun compositing. Right? Now, are you ready for this? This is great for double exposure. There's no variance in color for all of for these branches and stuff. Like, and what I want to do is I want to take her... Go drag it down. Oh, don't put her in there. So I wanna I wanna put her on top of this mother nature plants and land. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a clipping mask. So hold down the option key, roll over in between those two, shabamo, right? And now you have her like obviously being revealed. Let's turn off these in there right but then what we want to do is we want to play with the blend modes so now we'll go in and say hey you know what let's is it darken is it you literally roll down these and see what works that's what i do anyways i know it's going to be overlay and soft light it's going to be within this range because these only deal with light colors and then dark colors and then these kind of deal with like the interaction of those two so we start to get some of that shading that i kind of like uh, and you get the idea. Um, so there you are. Uh, and then I would add more. Uh, I would add, definitely add some more detail and stuff uh, in here just to define the nose and stuff like that. So we'll have branches. We still need to focus on animals because again, I wanna stay true to uh, this particular stream. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. But we kind of have the outline. We kind of know where roughly. Let's just do a Command J. Let's drop. It's duplicating this layer, um, putting her beneath everything. And uh, you know, what? let's just go to work. It's time to go to work, people. Let's go to work. Right? Ugh, I'm having such an issue with like the size of things. I'm just pl I'm just playing with it and I'm not sure what to do. All right? Here's our lion. Uh, let's just drop a bunch of more a bunch of a bunch more animals in here. Okay, Reven Le Revendra, thank you so much. You're too kind. Animals will go in here. Yeah, we have them all. Yeah, of course we're going to have a dove in there. Why not? And all those fun things. I'll typically put those at, to at the top. Like, they'll be the top sort of outside elements. Zip. Already cut out, so that's awfully nice. The birds are going to be cool. Oh, look, here's a whole flock of birds. Let's just use that. What is this? Are these crows? Some, is this a murder of crows? Man, things got dark. Let's shrink that down. You know, they just sort of like left the trees. Except for this last one. This guy's going to be like, he's going to be hanging out right there. Right, but you get the idea. This is a bigger bird. It's a little further. This one's farther away. Uh, and I'll play with color later. Let's get some more animals in here. Let's get a little bunny. Right? Oftentimes I drop things in and they're absolutely huge. Um, you could do a command zero, zero to, so you could see it, 
But anytime it's like really large, I just jump up here and I'm like, geez, this is ridiculous. What are you doing? It needs to be like 30%, if not smaller. So I'll type that in, I'll shrink it down. All these animals are gonna be friends. They just need different places to hide within, uh, you know, within this setup. Uh, yeah, feel free to monkey bun. Okay, well, let's do let's do monkey. Ah, I don't have a monkey. Dang it! Oh, I got a jaguar. Command T, and then I right click, and then I get all those other uh, options. Um, so this might be a case like, since it looks like it's coming out, do I actually hide uh, part of this jaguar as if it's kind of creeping over her shoulder on this side, right? Uh, so yeah, let's do that. Layer mask, B for brush. Uh, what is it? Uh, Command D will, or just D will reset your colors back to the default colors, which is black and white, and then just hit X. I hope I'm right on the, it might be, it's different. I get it confused with Illustrator, but it should just be D. All right, so X will flip those two colors, come in here and just kind of like do that, maybe, I don't know, uh, at least by, behind some of that. If I want to bring it back places, I could do it, like bring it back, uh, you know, and stuff, right? Maybe that's like that, I don't know. First time people, first time doing this design, shrink it down. Uh, 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 this is probably going to get a little more ugly before it gets pretty, and I think that's okay. Oh, you have a lot of jaguars in Brazil? Oh, jaguars are cool. I think they're really cool. Uh, we need some big game, right? We'll throw, uh, an elephant in there. Uh, which one do we like? You know which one I like? I'll tell you right now. Um, geez, I'm gonna have to make some decisions on the lighting. So the, these two look like almost the same, but like the lighting is obviously on, on the side that's kind of more exposed. So that's why I'm picking this one. The lighting's gonna be a whole thing. And we are making a mess. Like so. Shouldn't yellow be one of the default colors if you're supporting a banana? Oh, you're a banana. Just kidding. Okay. Yeah, I could tell already, just based on this concept, it's it's gonna be a whole thing. Um, I'm I'm gonna have to spend some time on this. For sure. Like, this doesn't quite work, but do. Like, I, I personally think a lot of designs need, they need to be grounded in, in, in a certain way. They need to just have, like, a ground. Like, the ground for her, like, this, this color, like, this shape grounds the piece. Otherwise, everything's just kind of floating around. Um, another way to do that is to, you know, introduce a background and, like, does she flow into this, uh, this whole, um, I don't know, like landscape scene, right? So let's see what I have for backgrounds. Now that you, I'm glad you brought that up, but like here's the here's the background too. Like, are they part of it somehow? Like so, um, and that's the question, right? We'll go in here. Let's grab this. Boom. Uh, maybe we'll use this. Uh, open to thoughts, open to thoughts, right? Okay, this is this one's tricky right in here. Um, I mean, it's it's not too tricky. It's just gonna take some time, okay? Uh, how shall I do this? I don't know, through a lot of work probably. Um, 
but you know, it's so much easier these days. I'm gonna use the object selection tool. Let's just try this, object selection tool. Uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, maybe I'll use the lasso. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna use the object selection tool and I'm just gonna go through and try to select all of these cows because I wanna remove them, that's, that's the idea. Boom, there we are. We don't want to extend, actually I'm gonna continue to do that because I think this is like the easiest way to do it. Because I'm like, I wanna be accurate and be able to tell Photoshop what I want. Um, but uh, I, I don't wanna, I, I don't wanna have to do all that work. So I'm just like, hey, you know, this general area, go ahead and select it. We'll go to selection, we'll go to modify, we will expand this. Expanding is always kind of a guessing game because it depends on your resolution. 20 was too many. We'll go to expand, we'll do like 10. Expand that out. Uh, I will just have a backup layer. And then we will fill, so I usually do. So this right here is gonna be, ooh, it's uh, shift F5. Yeah, but I do a shift, uh, shift delete will bring up this dialogue. So we can bring up the fill dialog. This is, again, just quick and dirty because I'm not even sure this concept's gonna work. Let's go through, just get rid of them. Yeah, what happened to them? They got taken away by UFOs. And uh, again, the only reason I'm doing this is I'm trying to just see if this is gonna work for, uh, like as a background. And I don't know if that's gonna be the case. Uh, check this out, you guys are gonna love this. Uh, Cool, cool deep. Good to have you here. Um, uh, yeah, feel free to answer that question if anybody has, uh, uh, you know, a favorite book for design, color theory. I like Itten's Elements of Color, if you're talking color. It's a very small book, but it's so good. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do now. I really want to extend the sky. So let's see, and I want to extend the ground, but I don't want to make this whole thing look stretched out. So if I do a Command T and just try to stretch it, yeah, that doesn't look good, right? What I can do is I can go in to uh, content aware scale, under edit, content aware scale. So this time, again, just like holding on a shift key, but look, as I extend this out, it extends out of like the duplicate pixels, but doesn't stretch out the details of this, which again, that's what I want. I wanna like kind of stretch it out. Give me, give me something, something like so. Uh, that, you know, kind of fills this, this piece. So anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. Is this working or is it not? I don't know, people. Is that okay that, you know, do we do this? Does the whole background have this color? Like, is it like that? There we go. All right. Emma's in the house. Fairy's in the house. Bliss is here. Awesome. So I don't know if I really like this. Um, yeah. Let's grab some more items and uh, drop that in like so. Uh, hue, let's crank up the saturation there. All right, we're learning. Content aware scale is super cool. Um, so yeah, so this is just sort of another take. The key thing is, is that this, this bottom part just needs to be grounded. Um, and that's what I'm working on. Okay, there were other parts that I was working with. There were other things. Um, even if I take a look at the flowers and plants. Oh yeah, this, this piece of land. Oh, it's a nice piece of land. Let's bring it in here and let's go ahead and clip that. Let's turn this off. You know, um, and also what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to take these, 
Yeah, I'm gonna take all these. Command G, we're gonna group them. This is gonna be the woman sort of out, or the, you know, shape, basically. Separate that from the background. And then what I wanna do, cause I want all these things masked out with this one mask. I was doing it with these pieces. Like, no, 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 let's just take that. And uh, rather than holding down option, option will copy, right? And I don't really wanna do that. I don't wanna have 15 of these, right? I wanna select this one and I wanna click and just drag it up to the woman shape. Now, everything in this folder is gonna get masked out, right? So, but this gives me more control cause now I can turn off that background. Um, maybe turn off the hill and uh, just start to play with this. That's all. I want to welcome everybody in. We get a full day of various master classes, which will be fun. Um, and I'm glad you're here. All right. Let's get to work. <sighs> so much to do. What are the keys to make a composition look realistic? Oh, that's great. We should write them out. Um, size is one, right? So, so the thing is, is like, I don't want to have this bunny as big as, as big as the elephant. Since they're all living together, I can put the bunny on his head. Why not? <laughs> you know, uh, so it's going to be size, uh, obviously color, uh, brightness. I mean, when I say color, that's huge. You know, it's, it's not only the saturation, it's like the luminance, it's the direction of the light. Like the, you know, are the, are you using the same black for all of them? Right. Already, I can tell you right now, the composition is not looking realistic because look at how washed out these are compared to this bright line. This line was actually uh, shot. This is a sunset photo, so this is a little a little intense. So I would scale that back, or scale back that color, or brighten up these other ones. But I'm not even at that point because I need to add more animals. Oh, and so much talking. Let's just go through this. Some more, ooh, uh, let's do this one. Take him down, boom, little piggy, boom, done. And uh, bear with me as I uh, go through this one here. Oh yeah, jokes. Remove background, thank you so much for being my friend. And then just a little refine edge like we've been doing. You want a cow? I see I see Moo in their chat. We could do that as well. Again, just a little getting rid of that hard edge, just softening it up. Doesn't he look kinda cuddly? I mean he's definitely cuddly. Tell me tell me you wouldn't want to hang out with this guy. I would. I don't know if he would like that. He's going to be like, do you have food or are you food? <laughs> so anyway. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. Again, what do I do every time I do this? I type in bear. So I name my layer and then I drop it into my library panel. Usually keep all my cutout stuff at the top so that we can take this. Drop it right here. Okay. So now our bear is ready to go. And I typically take from here because if I change it later, um, I want it to reflect. Or if I refine it more later on, I have that sort of flexibility. There's our bear. Let's get that cool, uh, this griffin vulture. Close that. Don't worry about saving it. Griffin Vulture. Look at this guy. It's 20. It's washed out. Okay, you ready for this? I'm excited to show this as well. This is super important. Uh, this is this is re really important. Um, so so this one's washed out. Let's let's just this guy's like so washed out. Um, and you could go down here and you can add. 
uh, like levels if you want to increase the contrast, right? You could do that. You could hit auto, things like that, right? And I could actually clip it. So a lot of times people end up with something like this, right? Where that's being clipped out. You're going to end up with so many of these layers. It's going to get annoying. So this is what I typically do is I just delete this. Watch this magic trick. Uh, Command L. Boom. Right? It brings up levels. I just hit auto. Okay? It does some color balancing, uh, probably based on my crazy options that I have going on here. Uh, if you ever want to re... And this is what happens all the time. Oh, this is so full of tips, guys. Uh, let's say I've played with these. I'm not going to lie. I mess with these way too much. Like, how do I reset it back to where it was originally? Do I have to reinstall Photoshop? I certainly hope not. Hold down the option key. Anytime you're in a modal dialog, it'll go to reset. And then you can click oh, reset and then you click it and it and it will reset it. So obviously I've already done that and it's actually good. But that also works in here. So I can just go ahead and hit reset. And there we are back to where it was. You know, auto, you get the idea. The key thing here is um, I'm actually going to adjust this manually. Like so. Uh, but this is what you get when you do Command L. It now tucks levels underneath this, because this is a smart object, uh, as a smart filter. And I don't have all those crazy layers. That's why I absolutely love it. You want to, you might not remember Command L or whatever. Let's take this. Um, this elephant will go to image and this is the same equivalent. We'll go to adjustments and we used to tell people to not, this, this is destructive if you, uh, do it on a pixel based layer. When you do it on a smart object, it becomes a smart, uh, a smart layer, smart, uh, smart effect. So in this case, I want to, you know, increase punch up the saturation. We'll get a hue saturation. We get the same lovely dialogue box. We crank that up, right? punch it up, click OK, boom, same situation. So uh, use smart objects and then start using this menu. Uh, and then it just kind of tucks everything uh, into that one object. And I think that's pretty good. OK. All right. Alt on Windows. Thank you, Bliss. Uh, Yes, Command L rocks. I don't know if you guys do this stuff. I do this stuff all the, a lot. So right in here, click Command L, uh, do our adjustments, right? And actually, geez, I already forgot. What's the darn? So Command U, that's right, for hue, U, and then we'll punch up. And what I'm doing is I'm punching up uh, our lovely little rhino. I call him a rye yes, because he's so cool. Uh, and we'll continue on our merry little way. Uh, this piece is obviously going to take me a lot longer than uh, today, of course. Uh, I'll probably put him up. I'll probably put him up here, like on a branch, right? Uh, that I'll have to import. And uh, I did not forget about uh, sort of making your own trees. So let's do that really fast. Let's say I want um, a tree to be flowing a certain direction. Uh, I'm just going to hit P for pen. Um, this is what I could do. I don't know. I could do a number of things. But let's just, let's just like take the, the curve of her head. I'm trying to think of the directions I'd want this to go. I honestly just want it to be like this. I'll just show you this real fast. Here's my line, hit escape. Uh, this is actually set to path. Just keep that in mind. It's not a shape, it's a path. I just created this lovely little path. Where does this path exist? Well, it messes with your head, but it's in the paths panel. There it is, right? For this lovely path, we want to go ahead and add uh, trees to it, just like flowing along that curve. Oh, this is where I should have done it on her shoulder. Oh, that would be cool. Let's do it again, Paul. Guess what? We could save that if I want to use it. I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to come down here and we'll just do dit, dit, click. Yeah, I'll move that panel out of the way. On down like that. Hit escape. Here's my work path. We're on a blank layer. We'll go to render and then we'll go to uh, tree, right? 
sure enough, this tree is going to sprout up kind of curving along her shoulder. So this is going to be perfect for, uh, for what I want to do. The branches grow up, by the way. So keep that in mind as you draw your shape. So I don't know if you need to draw your shape upside down if you want the branches to go down, but that's how that works. And this might make more sense if I pick like a redwood. You can see how that curves along that path, and that's actually pretty cool. We'll go ahead and click OK. It'll go ahead and render out that tree. We could save this path, because if I want to like restroke it with a different tree, I would just save it as shoulder, right? And now we have that lovely uh, shoulder. Um, and then if you click off the path, it'll turn it off. Uh, and then this definitely, we use our hue trick. Heck, just do that, right? Do I want to start doing that for some of these fun curves? Could work out really cool, okay? P for pen. I'm down to my last five minutes, and I don't want to stop, to be honest with you. Who's up next? Terry White, can I have longer, please? Please, Terry. <laughs> please, can I have longer, Terry? He's probably like, whatever, because T. White is the chillest person I know. He's just chill. Whether he knows it or not, uh, it's helped me a lot in my career. It, you know, in that, he's like, you know what? Just relax, Paul. It's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine, Paul. Don't freak out. You know what? So what? Who cares about, say, Flash or whatever? There's going to be a new design thing or whatever that's going to come along that you're going to be designing to. Um, and I think that's cool. So anyways, we'll go into render again. We'll go to tree. They're going to come up right here from right here in the middle. And this is where I want that other tree. It was a young Robina, which I like a lot, right? Have it like, like that, click OK. There it is, young Robina, like so. And I could always have that. Uh, and we'll put this as, I don't know what we'll call this. Ah, <sighs> chest, sure, we're all grown ups here. Um, yeah, so that's super fun. We're gonna have all these, like, we're really able to, like, get the curves of mother nature, quote unquote, uh, to get this to hopefully look right. Uh, is it realistic? We have that problem where, like, hey, Paul, freaking make up your mind about the size of these leaves. We have little leaves here, and they're huge over here. So make up your mind, right? I might need to go in there. Um, this is a tree branch. I usually make sure it's a smart object before I resize. Oops. Let's go back over here, click. What is, click, there it is. Is it this one? Yeah, there we go. It's tree branch isolated. Oh, oh, I see. This happens as well, I'm down in my last couple of minutes. Let's go back into my, um, what is the problem with my brain? Paths? Path, the path is still selected. So that's what happens. Sometimes you'll have it selected and you'll be trying to mess around on your layers. Deselect it, close the panel, Command T, that gives me the branches that I want. And then do I like, you know, do I resize it? And uh, I don't know. I don't know the, I don't know the answer just yet. Uh, but uh, yeah. I'm not even crazy about this tree. I don't want some like uh, anorexic tree, if you will. I want something that conveys life because this is mother nature, right? So um, I'm sorry I didn't get more done. Um, just so you know, I have a ton more animals that I'm gonna add. So you're just gonna have to stay tuned uh, for next time, right? I have a ton of plants and flowers that I could throw in there. Uh, a ton of uh, animals and things like that all right in here. Like, ready for it? Boom. There's all your animals, people. Because guess what? I've cut these out before, right? Just, you know, think smarter, sharpen your axe, cut out all the things that you might need at some point, and, uh, you know, make a beautiful illustration or a comp composition out of it. Uh, you get the idea. But you can kind of see how you can kind of see. Oh, I would love... Turning this on, I'd love to have some depth. Like there's animals kind of behind her that are like darker, like they're in a shadow being cast by an invisible object uh, is gonna be really fun. So stay tuned as I work on this some more. I'll get it posted to Instagram, probably not till Monday because this is gonna take me, you know, a chunk of the weekend. Thank you so much, Bliss. And uh, everyone, I guess I have about, uh, well, exactly 32 seconds. 
Uh, but yeah, thank you, Chatty and uh, Michelle and everyone. Um, yeah, for joining me, even wherever you may be. Lauda, I see you. I see you as a person. Um, and uh, yes, as Carol said, uh, where's Waldo? So maybe my last little thing will be to, um, you know, uh, throw a skull in there, which I'll have to work on. So uh, thanks so much for joining me, guys. I will see you all very soon because um, I will be on the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge today. So thanks so much. Bye.